the President of the United States, accompanied by Coach Urban Meyer, Gene Smith, and Michael Drake. This one's a little weak there. The, uh, everybody, uh, please have a seat. Welcome to the White House. And give it up for the 2014 College Football National Champions, the Ohio State Buckeyes. Uh, you may have noticed we have a lot of Buckeye fans here today, including some members of Congress, uh, represented by Joyce Beatty, was once a leader in the uh, OSU community, and now she represents the OSU community here in Congress. Uh, I want to thank the Ohio State University President, Michael Drake, uh, who is here, Athletic Director Gene Smith, and of course, Coach Urban Meyer. So this is Ohio State football's eighth national championship. It's Coach Meyer's third time winning it with his second team, which is pretty impressive. Uh, I've only done it twice. <laughs> and for the same team both times. Uh, this was a historic year in college football. Uh, the country got to enjoy its first ever college football playoffs. And I will say it. it was about time. Uh, I cannot claim full credit. <laughs> I will point out that I pushed for a playoff system in 2008. <laughs> I'd say I throw my weight around. Uh, political, uh, PolitiFact, which uh, keeps track of whether politicians keep their promises. This is a promise kept by me. <laughs> uh, so uh, you're welcome, America. It was a great playoff. <laughs> um, <laughs> It was an exciting season from start to finish, and to say that Ohio State's path to the title felt improbable at times uh, would be an understatement. Uh, at one point last year, the Buckeyes were ranked as low as 23rd in the nation, but they kept on battling back with the help of not one, not two, but three quarterbacks. At first, they lost Braxton Miller, a Heisman contender, before the season even started. Then J.T. Barrett, Big Ten quarterback of the year steps in, has an extraordinary run, but then breaks his uh, ankle against a, a certain team up north. I guess I'm not allowed to. <laughs> I'm not allowed to. <laughs> and then we learned uh, uh, that uh, Cardell Jones is not your average third string quarterback. <laughs> Anybody uh, with a nickname like 12 Gauge has to be taken seriously. <laughs> I, I told him that I could throw a football 75 yards also, but he didn't believe me. <laughs> So he's, he clearly is a smart kid. Uh, but the Buckeyes hit their stride when it mattered most. Uh, pitched a 59-0 shutout in the Big Ten Championship, earning their way into the playoff spot. Beat top-ranked Alabama in the first round, then rolled up a decisive win against the Oregon Ducks for the national championship. At critical moments throughout the season, uh, we learn about the character of this football team and we met the characters who made up the football team along the way. Uh, like uh, Joey Bosa, the Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year. Joey, wait, wait, where, where's Joey? Right there. Uh, 
consensus All-American, led the conference in sacks in 2014, including the one that ended the double overtime game against Penn State, followed each one with his signature celebration, uh, a shrug. <laughs> I use that move sometimes. Uh, uh, now, Joey's hair may be short now, uh, and he, he looks good. I, I actually like it shorter. Good for you. See, I appreciate that. <laughs> but he assures us that the shrug will be back next year. Uh, wide, receiving, uh, wide receiver Evan Spencer was named team MVP in 2014 for his selfless play, great blocking, and even a perfectly thrown touchdown pass to Michael Thomas in the Sugar Bowl. Evan, go ahead and wave. And in addition to rushing for over 1,800 yards behind uh, an extraordinary offensive line, as good as we've seen in a very long time, uh, and earning the championship game MVP, uh, Ezekiel Elliott made the NCAA fashion police take a close look at their midriff policies. <laughs> Where's Zeke? Thanks for tucking in your shirt today. <laughs> we appreciate that. <laughs> he said I needed to get the rule changed. You see that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Look, I already got the playoff, all right? Now I got, <laughs> I got other stuff to do now. Uh, but in, in all seriousness, this was a team of true character, of true resilience. Uh, as I said to him when I had a chance to shake the hands of uh, all the players, you know, everybody's going to go through ups and downs in life and how folks handle it. Um, how the quarterbacks on this team supported each other. Uh, you know, that's what every organization wants to see, is people stepping up for each other. Uh, and not only did they do it on the field, uh, they made Ohio proud off the field. Uh, each year, the Buckeyes pay forward their good fortune with more than 1,000 hours of community service and charitable efforts in central Ohio, visiting young patients in hospitals, helping second graders improve their reading, uh, building playgrounds, supporting the Special Olympics, uh, stocking shelves for the Mid-Ohio Food Bank. Uh, so, uh, you know, the love between this team and their uh, community is mutual. Uh, I will say, when you get 100,000 fans to show up to our practice, <laughs> I think it's fair to say that uh, y your fans are a little crazy. <laughs> But obviously, it's working for them, and it's working for this extraordinary team. Uh, so Coach Meyer, uh, congratulations to you and the Un Ohio State University for your national championship. Good luck this season coming up. Thank you. Well, Mr. President, on behalf of the President Michael Drake, Athletic Director Gene Smith, our Board of Trustees, these young men standing behind us, my coaching staff, our families in the audience, and the millions of Buckeye fans across this great nation, thank you for the honor of receiving this recognition in the White House today. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank you for being a strong supporter of sports and collegiate athletics, wanting to recognize that you were an early supporter of the creation of the college football playoff. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Ohio State entered the playoff fourth in the final seed, and there were some who questioned whether this team really belonged. We never had the chance to win a title under the old uh, uh, postseason system. As you know, we traveled a long and winding road of adversity and overcame nu numerous challenges as a team to be here today. These young men and this coaching staff worked hard to complete the chase and achieve their final goal of becoming undisputed champions. It's important to recognize that sacrifice, so thank you again for this meaningful opportunity to reflect and honor the commitment and success of our team and our families. I'd like to have a couple of our captains come up here. Got a couple of great presents for you. Uh, this is uh, Duran Grant, one of our captains. <laughs> and Curtis Grant. Uh, 
We'd like to present uh, President Obama with a game ball from the national championship game. If you could present that to him. And number 44, uh, President Obama, Scarlet and Gray, Ohio State, Jersey. Thank you so much.